Leonard here. I'm gonna bring you on a safe shopping trip through Stu Leonard. We have seven stores in the metro New York area, and I'm gonna bring you through one of them right now. This is a safe way you can go grocery shopping right now. Hi, Bella. See, everybody at the store is wearing your masks right now. Hey, those look beautiful right there, those masks. Got fresh corn coming in. We got, this is from Belgrade, Florida. We got plenty of product coming. All of my suppliers, I've talked to the corn farmers, I've talked to the ranchers, I've talked to uh, everybody. We're gonna get plenty of product. Let's do it now. Every single person right now is really good to do. That's the hospital grade uh, disinfectant right there. Uh, that's really good to The other thing you wanna do is, is try not to go when it's busy, okay? That's how many people are in school letters right now. He's keeping track of everybody coming in and going out. We want to limit the number of people so we flatten the curve. Here's something. We have plenty of these around, okay? Plenty of them. Just have a ball. Put them, just, just enjoy these things, okay? I'm gonna even wipe my cart down again. Hey, how you doing, guys? You can see we baked all fresh bread in the morning. We have plenty of products. How'd it go, I'm huh, Mario? We put sneeze cards. Hi, how you doing? We put sneeze cards up in front of the registers and coffee. Keep your distance. This is one thing you want to do. But come on up, sit down. Hey, what advice, what advice would you give everybody about shopping safely as they're going through the store? Uh, keep your distance, wear gloves, wear a mask, um, just try to stay apart from everybody. You should be fine if you do that, okay? Absolutely. This could probably be the cleanest place you could be all day, because every single night it's fully sanitized, above uh, uh, CDC standards, and we have a two-hour write-down blitz going on all day. It's probably the cleanest place you can be. Now, one of the things that the experts tell you is that the coronavirus cannot be conveyed on food packaging. There's no research out on that yet. But I'll tell you what, when I get home, I like to wipe everything down. You're gonna get some potato chips. You know what, just as a little precaution, I would take it, not when I get home at night, I'll just wipe the bag down. You probably don't have to, but it, it, it makes me feel better. Frozen fish like this. This has been a big, big increase. You can see people are buying this. They're stocking up on their freezers. You know, we've been able to get plenty of water. There's sparkling water, there's Salgino. Around here we got Poland spring water. That was a real shortage at one time. Rayo's down there. This has been selling really, really well at the store. Thing, we, you know, we started as a dairy, and you can see here the milk selling about as fast as we're getting in. I just saw a trailer pull up to the back, and uh, we're getting another fresh load of milk and sour cream and all of that in right now. And then one thing that breaks my heart, here's our little boot cap button here. Normally a pull in the cow food, but we had to shut him down for during the coronavirus. We don't want people to congregate right there. Plenty of orange juice, eggs right here. Uh, you know, egg market's a little high right now, but that's the only thing in the store that I've seen any price increases. Actually, we're getting some price decreases right now coming in. Uh, you know, because all the restaurants says there's a lot of food out there. And then, a big seller over here is our chicken. Right here, uh, we're getting, you know, our, our, all of our fresh meats are coming in right here. That was a ribeye. That's our rancher's favorite. But you know what my favorite is? Porterhouse right here. I just, <laughs> I could bring one of them home tonight. They look great. Hey, Lou. How you doing? Come on over for a second. All right, I'm doing fine. I'm not going to All right. Okay. Yes. But uh, tell us what's happened. Lou's been with us how many years now? Twenty-six years. Twenty-six years. Yeah. Tell us what. What did you notice customers buying during this uh, 
Uh, they're buying chicken, chopped meat, little fillets that you see over here at the counter. I mean, everything that we put out there buying. How do you feel about supply from the Midwest as far as beef goes? Beef, beef wise, we're okay. We're running into a little problem right now with chicken. I heard that the issue is trying to get some of that. Uh, but uh, beef wise, we're okay with beef. Okay. Of that. Right. Good. okay, and I know we're working on the check. Yes, all right, so thank you, Lou. Thanks thank for you. Good job. Good job. As you can see here, we got all our sauces. We have a nice uh, uh, family that makes the sauces. But check out this uh, paper towel. It's not bounty, but right now it's people want to use it. Paper towel. Here's a, a hand sanitizer we have, which is great. It's actually one of our vodka companies is making uh, a hand sanitizer. It's 80% alcohol, and uh, customers love it. We want to keep everybody spread apart in the store, at least six feet. And then we're here at Produce right here, where you have uh, all your Plenty of fresh berries and everything coming in. How you doing today? All the fresh herbs. Plenty of lettuce. Hello. Um, this is a little leaf lettuce. It's never touched by human hands right here. So it's, it's a great lettuce. You don't even have to wash it or anything. I want to keep my distance from everybody as I'm going through the store. That's important for you to do when you shop. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Hey, how do you feel about supply of uh, produce right now from California? You got we good. good. This week we good. Next week may be getting tight a little bit because of the rain over the weekend. The rain? They couldn't have this. So it may so be California tight looks good? Yeah. Okay. Good. We got plenty of supply. Plenty of supply, okay? Look at it. Look at the abundance of okay. food. Rotisizing six feet away. Then a lot of prepared foods have been selling really well. And then other things, sushi has been selling great. That's been really a good seller here. <laughs> yeah. And then a lot of this prepared foods is, is really big right there. And, and customers are cooking at home. And, you know, here's a grilled, uh, you know, nice cilantro like chicken. You can see mashed potatoes, so broth potatoes. See the lines on the floor? Try to keep your distance at the register. There's two things. This is what we're trying to monitor right here, so there's not a cash We got plenty of cash here. That's the key. Get people in and out quick. What we'd like to do is, see, look, she's wiping everything down. Okay? Hi, Jenny. See, that's important. Make sure the cashiers are wiping things down and keeping it going. See, look, the pen, keypad. And Jenny, what do you do with the red with the credit cards? The credit cards? Do you wipe them down too? Oh yeah, sometimes customers ask me if they want to leave. Okay. Yeah. Well you know what? Check out, wipe your credit card off. Use Apple Pay if you can. That's probably the best. A lot of people use Apple Pay. Oh yeah. And I'm just tap it. Tap just tap it. it. Yep. Just for fun. Let's see how many customers are in here. How you doing? Okay, we got 127. I think we had, what, 160? Okay. So, look, I just went through the store. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. When you bring your reusable bag, wipe these down when you get home, okay? Um, I just went through the store. Supposedly, one of the doctors, I mean, he says, I'm fine, okay? I'm going to the store like this. Just keep your distance, wear a mask. Be conscious of your hands, don't touch your face, 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 so you do your part. We're trying as hard as we can. It's two minutes to do ours. Have a great day. Thank you.